So today we are going to discussing about the one of the uh, interview mission test discussion. Okay, what they asked in the interview, they have the one jar file. That jar file is executable jar file. They already written some code inside that, and they written the they make a jar file executable jar file, and they give it to me. Okay, and then they give the one property file also. In this property file, what will happen? What are the database details? Database is URL and database password and database. Username password, it will be uh, you need to be adding this. The property file and jar file they given this two things for me. And then what the requirement as this application, Java application should be one container. This Java application should be one container. And database should be another container. The database which we are going that they asked me, like as we can use the Postgres. Postgres database, you can use and you can able to communicate these two containers one to each other when the application will be. Once it is connected, it should be given the output like as database connection successfully like this. Okay, this is their requirement. They given this, they win this this bucket two bucket names. Okay, like as bucket URLs, and we need to download for the two two buckets. This this URL contains that. What if you click this, it will download for this that jar file. Okay. This jar file and then this is the property file. These two will be you need to use and we need to be create this. And we can make a, this application in the one container and another one is the Postgres database. Okay. And then what they given, they given this instruction also. You can use this command to run yeah, our application. Okay. Now the property file we need to enter the environment variable and the property file location where it is location that we need to be provide for the property location, property file location in this system. Okay. And the next Thus, iPhone jar and the DB connection jar file, like Java iPhone jar, right? The same. And we're passing the one environment variables that is for even in the Java. If you want to pass any environment variable, you can use the iPhone capital D option. And the property file location inside the Docker file where we are going to give that property file, we need to be given this path of this. The next jar, iPhone jar and the DB connection of jar, which we are downloading just now. And then when you access the system, that application should be running on the 9984. And when you access this system, should be used as this kind of output database connected successfully. Okay. Clear? This is a requirement. And then what we need to do? Let's uh, connect the system, our system first. And even they given this in this in like as exam, they given just IP address, username, password of the mission, username and password. One Linux mission. Okay, they given. Okay. And we need to be connect that and even they don't have any installation of Docker also. You should be take care of the installation of Docker also. Okay. And the next go here and let me go for services and EC2. And then go for whichever mission which we are using daily. Okay, let's. This is our 9 pm bash. Let me start the mission. This in this mission, we already installed the Docker right previously. Okay, I'm going to use the same. Okay, it's taking time. Then I'll go for this path. Okay. Next morning, I discussed in the morning mission. It is this connect this mission. Hope it is. Yes, okay. Now we connect it. Just I'm creating one directory here. Yes, let's say uh, DevOps test something. Folder name is DevOps test. Okay, then CD go for this path and download these two buckets. Okay, how to download from here from Linux mission to any URL? You can use the card or else duplicate, right? I'm going to use the duplicate here. Just copy this. Even that time they given this hard copy. Even I type for entire these things. Okay, now I'm giving the soft copy for you guys. They given the hard copy to me. And then just duplicate. 
okay it's downloaded and just download this too also okay let's see what are the files are downloaded just now these two files are downloaded okay the postgres sql what we need to do we need to go for the postgres yeah let's say postgres is filled up back up yesterday we discussed right let's go for official image like how we are going to run the postgres now let's see this I can able to run directly but just i'm doing like as if you do any requirement kind of things you must follow the same thing here again just run this okay and what are the password you want you can give this here like my secret password and now like this is an environment variable you must be allow this you need to override the like as if you want to override any environment variable in the docker container you can use the iphone e option iphone iphone environment option anything okay and then this container name and if you want you can use this and then the same command i've written here i'm going to use with this command okay docker run docker run and then name my post this is a container name and then this is a environment variable and the next this is my password mother post i'm going to give in this here and then this i'm running the background and then port should be this by default 5432 for this post okay the post is still posted the 5432 Okay, just I'm going to give this and the post case. This is the post case. I'm going to be this is the image name. Okay, just I'm going to use this. I guess order is not required because we already added the this user easy to user inside the account group. Okay, if you don't have it's adding this, you must use the sudo. Just download this post case latest image is not available in my local system, it's downloading from where. It's downloading from Docker Hub and it will be run a container if it, the image is not found. If it is image is already existed, it won't be pulled. Okay. That is for run command advantage. It will, it will not available. It will download and it will be run. Okay. Then next, see that Docker PS, the container is running or not. Yeah, it's running. This post PS Docker container is running. Then next, what do we do? We need to be add these properties inside the our DB connection properties file right properties dot properties file okay go here and this they will give this like this and we need to add into the proper host name here where we are uh, running the my post server ip okay here i'm going to give this here in this mission i'm going to this here's the private ip here Take private ip and then port is is five four this is four okay five four three two okay this port we need to be give this here okay then next username is what username by default is what post place only okay this post place was the username the default username and the password is what which we are running time mother post i used right the same password we need to be used here same this password and i am going to use the here also and here in your environment variable i use the this mother post right the same password i'm going to use here mother post okay just add the password here then next save this file and the next what we requirement we need to write a docker file for this we need to copy these files and we need to write docker file here i'm going to write the this simple lines okay three lines of code here, just I'm going to take a base image of any open JDK and I'm copy this file to my inside the container. Then I run the they given that last instruction, they given this how to run the this application also. Okay, just I'm going to make the two commands that's it. Okay, then even they given this, I'm going to use the entry point here and same to anything. This is the which form it is shell form or exe form. So shell form I could be your wish. Okay, whatever you want, you can use that. I'm going to use the shell form here. Okay. The next, just save this and what are the files are there here? That files will be copied into the current path to this current path to inside the container current path. Okay. Even we can see this, what are the files are copied. Even if you give this like this, even the Docker file also will copy inside the container. Okay. 
that if you want to ignore this one, just yesterday we discussed right? Dot ign dot, uh, Docker ignore. You can use that file. You can remove this Docker file. Docker file that don't want to copy. Okay. Just you can use the add or copy anything that we discussed and add and copy difference also, right? That the add is we can any tar file we can have them from URL that also we can add it here. Okay. That will be automatically extracted also. Yeah. Just I'm going to build this image like Docker. Build iPhone T, let's say iPhone T, like as DB test something, your wish. Okay, and then I'm going to do the that. build the image. Okay, this base image open JDK is not there in the machine, it's downloading latest open JDK. And then just delete, create it successful this image. Okay, then run this as a container now. Okay, so simple. Now this application is internally they expose the port is the triple nine port, the triple nine eight. Okay, and then just I'm going to use the same Docker run iPhone D background and this is my container name and this this is for my ports I exposed and then this is for outside exiting this is internally running the port. Okay, and this is for river image just whatever we created. Okay, which image we created? Over. If our image name is what? DB test, right? DB test. Okay, and here even if you can use the DB test container name is meaningful name. Okay, that you wish. Then you can use the iPhone iPhone RM also because of if something goes stop, it will remove automatically. Okay. The next one is. See this now, we sh that two containers should be up and running. If anyone else goes down, then you can go and you can check for the Docker logs of this container ID, okay? And you'll get no like as what is the error of this uh, mission will be stopped, okay? Then go to the browser, allow this port, 8 and then you can access our application. Let's see it's working or not. Let's go here and allow this port to 8 inbound here. Get it. Okay, triple nine eight. Then anyway, here. Next ten steps. Take the any public happy public business, and then this is the way we can. This is for a more yesterday class application, right? And then next, triple nine gate. Okay, now this got successfully connected with this database. Okay, this is what their requirement actually. Okay, that's it's for this sample application they given to test for this how the it will communicate and that how we are going to be in I guess create as a Docker file and how to build the Docker file, how to run the container, how to communicate how to install the docker everything they will get no like this this is a sample application they given okay clear guys yes? 